what's up today we're gonna talk about how I do my big wavy hair this is a question I've gotten a bit on Instagram because I've worn my hair like this for like two months right now probably and in this video I'm going to share the tips and tricks that I use to get my hair like this as well as the products that I use it's minimal heat it's easy Let's get right into it. This video is in partnership with Aussie. Thank you so much to Aussie for working with me. I've used Aussie since I was probably in like middle school. I've said that in other posts with them, but I'm just seriously so excited every single time we get to work together. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting the Aussie Miracle Waves line, which is perfect for my hair. My hair is naturally wavy. However, they also have the Miracle Curls, coils and miracle volume hey it's me from literally eight days later when i was editing this i realized i left out the last line that they have miracle volume also this is the same hair from this tutorial eight days later quite literally eight days later they have lines for every hair type through the years i've grown to love my bigger hair and i love to embrace it so that's what this video is about how i embrace my hair how i make it as big as it can be because i love that let's get right into it hey it's the night before my hair is so greasy you would not imagine i've been trying to go as long as i can between washes i've always kind of done that i don't know since i was literally in high school i just feel like it's better for my hair with the type of hair that i have to wait between washes my hair is dry naturally and wavy naturally i already brushed it out so you can't really tell like how it looked <laughs> You can kind of tell. Here's the thing. The whole thing about this tutorial, this is like what I do when I wash my hair at night. So like I said, I only wash my hair probably four times a month if we're being honest. I usually try to wash my hair in the morning because then I can let it air dry naturally, follow up with a little bit of touch ups, bada bing bada boom, we're done. However, if I wash my hair at night, I get so tired and so ready for bed and I want to fall asleep. So this is my like routine for that. So that way I have some salvageable hair in the morning. As I said, hair type is wavy and dry and I have a lot of volume naturally, which I'm very thankful for. As well as my haircut, um, I have like a long curtain bang, probably like right here is my shortest piece. And then I have angled layers. So I have like a lot of layers in my hair. My hair kind of goes like this in the back. I'll show you when it's wet. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hair with the Aussie Miracle Waves shampoo and conditioner. This stuff is perfect just for like what I like shampoo and conditioner to do. Clean it, restore it, you know, make it soft again, but not weigh it down especially if you have wavy hair you don't want to weigh down your waves so it doesn't make my hair feel like weird or coated or weighed down or anything so perfect and then sometimes I like to use deep conditioner and I'm gonna use this one today it's the again Aussie three minute miracle waves one I've used the Aussie three minute miracle deep conditioner since probably I think seventh grade if I remember correctly <laughs> ride or die now they have a line for waves baby see you guys on the flip side okay fresh out the shower so I thought that I could just discuss with you guys my um my shower habits if you will, while we chat and wait for my hair to air dry. First of all, when my hair was as greasy as it just was, I like to double shampoo. This can be rough if you have drier hair. So I make sure to only shampoo my scalp and whatever runs through the lengths of my hair, that's it. I never ever wash down here. I just wash my scalp, scrub that, let the shampoo run through. That's that. Secondly, when it comes to conditioning, I only condition here down, like low ponytail down. That is to prevent my roots from getting too greasy because again, I'm trying to go a long time between washes. So double shampoo, yada yada, rinse, rinse, whatever. Conditioner, here down, comb it through with a wide tooth comb. Left that in for a few minutes and then rinse that out. And then I put some of the deep conditioner just on the very ends of my hair, the tips, if you will. Leave it in while I shave, wash my body. And there you have it, rinse it out. Here we are. So I'm gonna scrunch my hair as it air dries. You know, ever so often scrunch my hair just to again, enhance those waves. And if you want your hair Hair to do that like fan backwards motion it's good to kind of get the bangs tucked behind your ears get them going in that direction but I don't tuck them too tight like I want to make sure there's still room for them to have volume I'm gonna try and let my hair dry as long as I can before laying on it because you know as well as I do that if you sleep in your hair no matter how almost dry it is it can lead to some some mischief for sure I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna just try and wait until it's as close to dry as possible before I do the little TikTok bathrobe hack I'll be back when my hair is almost dry or when I'm about to fall asleep whatever comes first as you can see I already have some texture I'm almost fully dry but there's still some dampness within the layers this just kind of helps me when I want to make sure that things don't go too awry in the night the Aussie Miracle Waves products help encourage my waves so far so good this is just gonna top it all off just gonna stick it on my head and you know what actually here's a little hacky hack clip this in while you're twirling that helps so i'm grabbing my bangs those are definitely going away from my face i'm gonna try and talk through this i just kind of do it but we're just gonna talk through it and then whenever i wrap the bangs around i grab a chunk next to my face add it in and wrap that around it's kind of like a french braid or like a dutch braid but it's just one twist. <laughs> but I'm not grabbing all of my hair and you'll notice, and I'm doing this for a reason. I'm just grabbing 
some pieces. I still have all of this. This is it for right now. I'm gonna go down the robe tie. <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab this piece in the back. Also, I'm not doing this too tight because I don't want it to be too tight. I want it to look natural. I don't want it to look too contrived. And I'm grabbing these back pieces and wrapping them the opposite direction, you'll see. I like this because I don't like all of the curls to go the same direction because again, I just think it looks a little bit contrived. So this just kind of makes it a little bit more natural looking. Alrighty, using a clear elastic, ever so loosely tie it off. There you freaking go. All right, now onto the other side. This is literally the funniest look too. My mom told me I look like a renaissance girl. Here we have it. Again, not too tight. I don't want it to look too contrived. And also I don't want it to be too flat to my head. All right, take out this little butterfly and I'm gonna kind of loosen it right off the bat because I don't want it to flatten my roots down. There's a few pieces that I've made it an escape but I'm not gonna worry about it. Again, just kind of chill, just kind of a way to give it some overall uniformity. All right, I'll see you guys in the freaking morning. Hey guys, for some reason I woke up at 6 a.m. and I was like, you know what? I'm taking these out. I'm gonna record. Anyway, I went to sleep shortly after, but here I am taking them out. Um, as you can see, I do it pretty roughly. I just do, you know, whatever it takes, really. Ripping them out, period. But look how good it's already looking. You might be thinking, Queen, no it's not. Give it a little rough, and yes it is. My bangs, I'm gonna help them later. Here's where I decided I was going back to sleep. Um, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Hey, I'm back. It's three hours later. I woke up at six this morning. Not sure what happened there. Woke up at six. My hair was dry. Intense motivation came over me and I was like, I'm going to get up and film. And then I took my hair out and I was like, I'm going back to sleep. Here I am after sleeping more, getting up and getting ready. I'm going to go ahead and do my bangs now. That's like the last step and a step that I get asked a lot of questions on. This is the only part of my hair that I really used much heat on because they struggle to get styled. And I think they were pretty much dry when I wrapped them around the bathroom tie last night so but you can see all of this curl and enhanced wave moment all throughout my hair and then even the hair that like fell out last night doesn't matter because it's still wavy first of all i want to add volume here and then curl them backwards i kind of split them into two chunks here we go this piece only needs a little bit of help first of all for volume i put the curling iron right at the root curl under and let go and then i'm just going to hold that hair up until it cools down and that's literally going to give you that volume Okay, now this piece, right at the root, curl under, let go and hold it up. And I just hold it like that until it completely cools down. Okay, so first of all, compare the volume. We're already, like, done. Let's do this side. Look at that. Okay, I'm actually gonna curl them both, just to be sure. Just really quickly, they don't need much. Just take the whole bang, curl it away from my face, quickly. Boom. Boom. While that curl is still warm, I'm gonna rough it up because I don't want that to be too tight. There you freaking have it, you guys. How easy. And now you have big voluminous hair, literally so easy, perfect for summer. Do I not look like Matilda Jerf, queen of bloggers? Oh my gosh, you guys have got to try this. And then like any pieces that look a little bit wonky, like let's see. This is kind of stressing me out, this piece for some reason. Just the end of it, just add a little bit as a touch up. So minimal heat, super easy, doesn't take much time. If there's any pieces up here that you want to add, just for a little finishing touch. I just wrap it around the iron like a wand, rough it up. Literally, that's it. If you follow me on Instagram, this is the hair I've been rocking for like a month and a half, two months now. Like, this is all I've been doing. There you have it. Go forth. Have a great day. Thank you so much to Aussie for sponsoring this video. Like I said, I've used Aussie for years. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to partner with them. I hope you guys enjoy this. Have a great day.